the Lord has an assignment for you today. Hallelujah. And we're going to talk about what the Lord desires to come forth on the earth. Hallelujah. His sons are coming forth. They are being manifested uh, even as we speak. Hallelujah. And his sons are those that are doing his will and, and they have assignments that God has given to them. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, the title of this, this message today is Go, Stand, and Speak. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And we're going to study about those things. And then there is going to be a commissioning from the Spirit of the Lord. He's going to touch your heart today. And he's going to tell you what your assignment is. Hallelujah. You say, well, I, I don't know what I need to do. Well, the Lord will tell you. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's pray together today. Thank you for viewing uh, from all over the world. We welcome you today in the name of Jesus, especially those uh, here in the United States and those uh, in, in China, in Africa, uh, in Pakistan, in Cuba. Uh, we thank you for viewing uh, this video today. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. And we thank you, Lord, for letting your fire fall on all of us today in the name of Jesus. Lord, that we will be quick to obey what you're telling us to do. Lord, thank you for the words to speak to your people. I thank you, Lord, for your power. I thank you, Lord, for your presence uh, in this session today. In the name of Jesus, we give this time to you. It is yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. You know, the Lord is so good to us. And I praise him uh, for being uh, patient with us and still working on us. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's go to Acts chapter 5, verse 20. In, the, in this verse, it says, Go, stand, and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, we're, we're moving with God. We're going with God. God is, His cloud is moving, and we need to move with it. Hallelujah. And where, wherever you think you were uh, yesterday, uh, God is changing you from glory to glory. And so we're on the move. Hallelujah. You know, when you say, well, you know, why do I need to go anywhere? Because that's what the Word says for you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says in Luke chapter 14, verse 23, it says that you are to go into the highways and the byways and compel people to come into the kingdom. Not compel them to come into your congregation or what you're doing or your event, but you're to compel them to come into the kingdom of God. We all can do that. Hallelujah. We all can do that. We can do it by phone. We can do it by sending a, a letter or a card to someone uh, we can do it. Uh, even from our homes, uh, we can go into the highways and the byways and compel them to come into the kingdom of God. You know, I have my globe here today. A hallelujah. Because in Mark 16, 25, verse 15, excuse me, Mark 16, 15, it says, Oh, hallelujah, that we're to go into all of the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now, that's my verse. That verse jumped off the page at me uh, almost 40 years ago. I knew what I was called to. I knew what my purpose was, to go into all of the world, hallelujah, and preach the gospel to every creature. It's written in the book, hallelujah, who you are and what your assignment is. Praise the name of Jesus. 
And so every day, uh, now, as far as uh, going uh, internationally right now, uh, that's more of a challenge for, for Brother Fred and I with the conditions that are out there. But praise God, every day I lay my hands on this globe wherever God tells me to lay my hands, whether it's uh, Asia, uh, Romania, uh, Russia, uh, South America, Central America, Mexico, wherever it is, I lay my hands on this globe and I begin to intercede for the people in that country. Hallelujah. Right here in my home. So don't tell me that it cannot be done and that you don't have anything to do because you can't go and you can't get out in your in your car and do something, hallelujah. Or you don't have uh, the money to go overseas, hallelujah, and into the, into the other nations. Let me tell you something. God is not moved with our excuses. Woo! That came straight out of my belly. God is moved by your faith. Hallelujah. God is moved by your faith. You know, where else are we supposed to go? Well, in Psalm 66, verse 13, and I'm just warming up my oil. I'm just getting it warmed up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've asked for the fire to fall. We've asked for the fire to be in our in our mouths and in our hands and in our feet. Hallelujah. And I think I, I just read a post on that from Sister Rebecca. Hallelujah. Psalm 66, 13 says that we're to come into his house. We're to go to his house. We're to go into the presence of God. Oh, hallelujah. Have you gone into the presence of God today? I believe that his presence is here with us right now. Right at this very moment, his presence is being manifested. Oh, praise God. I hear you. Some of you are, are leaping up and down out there. I see you. Uh, glory to be to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In Isaiah 2, 3, where do we go? Where do we go, Lord? Where do we go? We want to go to the mountain of the Lord. In Isaiah 2, 3, uh, we're going to go up to the mountain of the Lord. His house is established at the top of the mountain. And so we're going there today. Well, well, where are you going? I'm going into the presence of the Lord. I'm going to go into his house. I'm going to go into uh, onto his mountain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, he told... And, I, and I'm going to go to the Old Testament in just a few moments. But right now, I'm just setting a foundation uh, for go, stand, and speak. I'm just laying a foundation right now. Hallelujah. What are we to stand on? Romans 5, 2 says that we stand by grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Hallelujah. Amazing grace. His grace. That's what we stand in. I can do nothing of myself. But I can do all things through God who strengthens me. And that's a word for at least five people watching. You can do it. Not in your own strength, but in the strength of the Lord. You can do whatever God has told you to do. Hallelujah. In Galatians 5, what do we stand how do we stand? Where do we stand? Well, Galatians 5, 1 says that we stand fast in the liberty or the freedom wherein Christ has made us free. And we're not going to be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. We're not going to get back into uh, self-pity. We're not going to get back into uh, the, the bondage of religious system. Hallelujah. We're going to stay free. We're going to stand in the liberty of that Jesus gave us when he died on the cross and he rose again for you and me and the whole world. Hallelujah! We're going to stand in that liberty. Hallelujah! In Ephesians 6, 11, we're going to stand with our armor on, with our helmet of salvation, with the sword of the Spirit, with the breastplate of righteousness. We're going to stand! Because we have our armor on. Hallelujah. When you get up in the morning, you need to say to the Lord, Thank you, Lord, for salvation. Thank you, Lord, that I'm saved. I'm delivered. I'm redeemed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah
praise God. In Philippians 1.27, it says that we're going to stand in one spirit. How many of you know that God works in unity? He In a marriage, he works in agreement and unity. Hallelujah. You know, I learned a long time ago. I learned a long time ago that if there's somebody uh, that 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 needs to come into agreement, uh, if Brother Fred says something and, and I may not be uh, totally... Uh, in agreement with that, what's my responsibility is to submit to my husband who's the head of the home. Hallelujah. He's going to be accountable to God. If he's wrong, he's going to give accountable to God. If he's right, he's going to be praised by the Lord. Hallelujah. It's so simple. It's so simple. We stand in that one spirit so that that agreement will, will move and will move us. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. I'm getting excited today. You get exciting today. Hallelujah. Colossians 4.12 says that we stand uh, perfect and complete uh, before our God because of what Jesus did on the cross. It's not my righteousness. My righteousness is as filthy rags. But he has made me righteous. Because of what he did. Because what Jesus did, he gave us righteousness. And he put us into that position of righteousness. Hallelujah. 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 In 2 Thessalonians 2.15, I'm still building a foundation. Praise God. The Lord would say, stand. Stand firm on the foundation that I have given you. Stand firm uh, uh, with me, saith the Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. How many of you know that you stand on foundation and you move in revelation? Listen to what I just said to you. You stand on foundation. And the foundation is Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone, the head of the church. You stand and in 2 Thessalonians 2.15, it says that we stand on his word. I can stand on this word. When the Lord gives me a word, hallelujah, I can stand on it. I can be firm on it. The enemy cannot come and shake me off of it. Because I'm going to stand firm on the word of God. And then you move in Revelation. What do you know about Jesus? Some people just know him as Savior. Others just know him as Savior and Healer. Oh, praise God. He's so much more. He's so much more. He's our Redeemer. He's our Advocate. He is the one that stands in for us in the courtroom of heaven. Hallelujah. He's the best lawyer that you could ever have. Some of you are going through a situation right now in your family and there's been some confusion and there's been some division uh, and then the Lord says that he is coming against those uh, demonic forces that are trying to divide uh, your family right now in the name of Jesus and he's putting back together those pieces. He's bringing restoration to your family. Can you say amen? A house divided cannot stand. But a house that's together, that's worshiping the Lord, that's in one spirit, in unity, hallelujah, nothing shall be withheld from his children. God does not withhold anything from his children. Oh, thank you, Lord. You're such a good God. Go, stand. And then what are we to speak? Hallelujah. What are we to speak? We're to speak. God's word. In Matthew 8, 8, it says, the centurion said, you don't have to come over here to my house. Just speak the word only. If you speak the word only, you'll stay in that grace that we've been talking about. You'll stay in that position where you can have a victory. Praise the name of Jesus. Matthew 10, 27 says that we're to speak uh, those things that we see in the darkness, we're to, 
We're to speak in the light. We're to come against that, that evil. We're to come against those a demonic spirit. Hallelujah. And we are to speak in the light and on the housetops. Speak the word of God. Speak what God is telling you to speak. Hallelujah. You know, in, in Matthew 12, 34, it says, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Is your heart with the Lord today? If your heart is with the Lord today, then out of that heart is going to come those good words. Uh, not corrupt words, but it's going to come, those powerful words are going to come out of your heart. Hallelujah. In Matthew uh, chapter 12, verse 36, it says that every idle word we're going to have to give an account for. Lord, let me speak your word only. Let me speak and minister grace to the hearer. Hallelujah. And one of my favorite scriptures is Ephesians 5, 19. Oh, hallelujah. Speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Speak to yourself today. Encourage yourself today. Hallelujah. There have been some of you that have been wallowing around in the, in the self-pity. Oh, woe is me. Nobody cares about me. Nobody's calling me. Praise God. Get on the phone and call somebody. Hallelujah. If you want a friend, you have to be a friend. If you want encouragement, then give encouragement. Oh, hallelujah, I'm speaking to somebody today, right now, right here, praise God. I'm speaking to you. I'm telling you whatever you need. If you need love today, give love. If you need peace today, give peace. If you need finances today, then give some finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Speak, speak. You know, he told Ezekiel in in in. in Ezekiel 37, to speak to those dry bones, to prophesy to those bones. Hallelujah. And, and those bones began to come together. And, and a great army of God was raised up. Praise the name of Jesus. What is he that he's telling you to speak? What is it? Hallelujah. In James 1, 19, it says, be swift to hear. Hallelujah. Hear what? Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you today. Slow to speak. And slow to wrath. Now that's in the King James Version. But that word wrath in the Greek means to slow to follow the outer man. Hallelujah. We're to be slow. Hallelujah. Because the enemy would like for you to follow your flesh. The enemy would like for you to speak out words that are corrupt. Hallelujah. Did you know that corrupt words are anything other than what the Word of God says? Hallelujah. Let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, let's go over and let's look at one of God's mighty men that God told to go stand and speak. And let's see how this story turns out. And I'm in Exodus chapter 3. And who am I talking about? Moses. Moses. Hallelujah. Now we know about God appearing to him. And he appeared to him in a, in a fiery, burning bush. Hallelujah. It was a burning bush. And he says, take off your shoes, Moses, because you're on holy ground. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And in verse 7 of chapter 3, and I'm going to go through this quickly. I know that my time is, is, uh, is coming up. Hallelujah. And I know the Lord wants to minister to some of you, and he wants to commission some of you. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the afflictions of my people which are in Egypt are in the world. They're in the world. Hallelujah. There are many people that are walking in the arena of the world and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. If you're still in the world and you're still uh, being pushed around and, and dragged around um, and, and crushed down uh, by the enemy, hallelujah, for I know their sorrows and I am come down to deliver them out of the land of the Egyptians 
and to bring them up, bring them up. How many of you know that God always will bring you up? Hallelujah. Out of that land into a good land and a large into a land flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 9. Now therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is coming to me and I have also seen the oppression. Oh, praise God. Verse 10. Come down therefore and I will send you unto Pharaoh that you might bring my people out of Egypt. How many of you know that this was Moses' assignment? God came down in the form of a burning bush, hallelujah, and spoke to Moses. And he said, Moses, I want you to go and deliver my people. I want you to go before Pharaoh. I want you to stand before Pharaoh. And I want you to speak what I tell you to speak. Uh, to Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Verse 10. Come now and I will send you unto Pharaoh that you may bring forth my people out of Egypt. Hallelujah. And we know uh, a, a lot of the story here. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. If we go over uh, to chapter 6. Uh, then the, the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall I be let, he will let them go. And with a strong hand shall he drive out, shall he drive them out of his land. Let me tell you something. God always has a plan. And God has a plan for your life. God's plans for you are good. Hallelujah. To give you an expected end. To prosper you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. And so... We see that Moses is to go, stand and speak before Pharaoh. It says here that he was 80 years old. Now, in verse in chapter 8, of verse 1, And the Lord spoke unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. But Moses didn't do it. And so the plagues began. The plague of the, the frogs and the lice and the flies. Hallelujah. And in chapter 9, then the verse 1, the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Let my people go that they may serve me. But he refused. And so then other plagues, uh, the hail came and the, the boils came. And, and, and so this was... Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. In chapter 10, verse 1, And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, and for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that they might show these my signs before them. Go, go to Pharaoh. Stand before Pharaoh. Speak what I tell you to speak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the locusts came. Oh, and then we come over to the last plague, and that is the firstborn of every family is going to be killed, is going to die. Oh, hallelujah. But see, God had a plan. And God told Moses what the people were to do. This is what we call Passover, hallelujah. And, and the blood goes over the doorpost. And the, and the death angel will pass by that house, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when all of this comes about and the, the firstborn are slain, oh, then Pharaoh has a different um, different scenario um, in chapter uh, 12, verse 31. And Pharaoh, are, are he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, rise up and get out of here. Get your people out of here. Y'all leave this place. I don't want to see you anymore. Just get out. Hallelujah. But see, God has a plan. And see, when you move with God, when you stand, when you go, you stand and you speak, then God is going to bring you victory. Praise the name of Jesus. But... Then we find out that 
that Pharaoh decides to follow the people of God. Here's Moses leading them out. Oh, glory. And they get to the Red Sea. I love this story. I love this story because when they come to the Red Sea, only God. Can you say only God? Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stomach aches are being healed right now. Nausea is being healed right now. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. God is going into uh, to the intestinal tract, into the colon area. God is healing and removing polyps. I see him doing that right now in the name of Jesus by the Spirit. He's removing polyps from, from the colon area. If that's you, you receive it. You comment on it. If you also have any other comments or words for people, uh, word of prophecy for people, uh, put it in the comment section so that people can see it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And so they they come, they they go out of the out of Egypt and they go where where God is leading them to go. And they stand, uh, hold, praise the name of Jesus. And then they're gonna speak, praise God. They're gonna speak. They're gonna speak. Hallelujah. They're gonna praise God. They're gonna do what He tells them to do. And so it says. It says in verse 21 of chapter 13. Uh, well, no, let's go back up to 18. But God led the people through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up, um, harnessed out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him. Hallelujah. For he had straightly swung to the children of Israel. God will surely visit you. And you shall carry up my bones away hence with you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And so in verse 21, And God went before them in a day in a pillar of cloud, and by night a pillar of fire to give them light. So go by day and night. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. In chapter 14, what do we see in 14? Oh, they get to the sea. And here comes Pharaoh's army and all of his chariots and his horsemen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, but we're, but what, the, what happens? God begins to speak uh, to Moses. And Moses put out his staff. Hallelujah. And as, the, as it got time and the Pharaoh and his enemies got like, stronger and stronger and closer and closer, uh, then the, the, the sea parted. Hallelujah. God showed his strength. God showed part of his plan. Hallelujah. And so the people uh, went over on dry land, verse 21 of chapter 14. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind of the Holy Ghost all that night and made the sea dry land. And the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went across on dry land. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. In verse 23, and then the Egyptians came uh, pursuing them uh, and went in after them in the midst of the sea, even all of Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, his horsemen. And it came to pass that the morning watch, the Lord looked upon the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire. Oh, and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians, and took off their chariot wheels, that they were not able to move across. Hallelujah. And then he said to Moses, stretch forth your hand again. Here is God's plan unfolding. Hallelujah. When you go, when you stand, when you speak, God will give you victory. Victory. And of 27, and the Egyptians tried to flee, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And they were all destroyed. All of your enemies, when you do what God tells you to do. And right now, I commission you by the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, that you will be willing and obedient to go and do what God has told you to do. In Jesus' name. 
If he's told you to make a phone call, then make a phone call. If he's told you to go somewhere, go and do what God is telling you to do. Hallelujah. 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 Because when you go and you stand and you speak, then you will see the victory just like in Exodus 14. Praise the name of Jesus. And then in chapter 15, uh, the Lord uh, gave Moses a song. Hallelujah. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel. Oh, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider thrown into the sea. The Lord, my God, my strength, my song, has held the victory for me. The Lord, my God, my strength, my song, he shall give me victory. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Headaches, go! In Jesus' name! In Jesus' name! Depression, anxiety, go! In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus, poverty, go! In the name of Jesus, be burned up! Burned up! Every effort of the enemy to try to come and destroy your life, I burn it up right now in the name of Jesus. It will not prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon coming against your marriage shall prosper. No weapon coming against your children shall prosper in the name of Jesus, your grandchildren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. He's your provider. Do you know him that way today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's providing whatever you need. If you need food today, he's providing it. If you need uh, your bills paid today, he's, he's providing the finances. Hallelujah. There's someone that's listening. Uh, $500 is coming to you in the name of Jesus. He is touching somebody's heart right now to give $500 to someone who is in need of, of paying their mortgage on their house in the name of Jesus. I commission you today to do what God is telling you to do. Thank you so much for viewing this video.